ocean comes in different colors. We all grew up thinking about that ocean is blue, like the one behind me, but it actually comes in many different colors. It can be brown, it can be green, sometimes it can be red. And the ocean color is dependent on the particles and different dissolved things in it. Um, so we have phytoplankton bodies in the water, dissolved organic matter, sediments, all sorts of different things that can scatter and absorb light in different ways and change the way we perceive color. So the whole uh, driver for the cruise is to be able to collect data that will help us better understand the imagery collected by ocean color satellites. Studying ocean color actually can tell us a lot about ocean. The changes of the color of the ocean are dependent on the processes that are happening in it. Not only are we looking at the color of the ocean, but also what's in it. So if we can establish a clear relationship between the components of the ocean and how it changes the, the color, we're able to detect this from satellites, which is really cool because we can get this like, you know, wonderfully synoptic view of the world. We want to understand how much carbon is sinking out of the surface ocean. So we need to understand the biology of the ocean that's driving that. And we want especially to be able to interpret what we can see from satellites, to connect satellite image to ocean biology to carbon export. By knowing who's in the ocean, we can say many more other different things. We can say, how is the ocean controlling the climate? We can also say how, how much phytoplankton will be there for, to, to feed the fish and other higher trophic level. The third aspect is the production of oxygen. Uh, phytoplankton produces, has produced 50% of the oxygen that is currently in the atmosphere. Oh, we're going to be very, very busy. Um, we have a very adventurous plan in front of us, and, and if the weather cooperates with us, I hope we're going to get some really great data. Today. We're sampling right now um, in the oligotrophic ocean, so it's part of the ocean that's dominated by very small phytoplankton. There's not a lot of productivity, um, and I hope we're going to end up in the coastal California current where there's lots of productivity. It's biologically quite rich. So if we can get lots of contrast and have everything work perfectly, then my wish will be fulfilled.